I'm Dr. Rajat Saha, Senior Consultant and Unit Head in the Department of Medical Oncology at Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute. Today, we would like to discuss a very important uh, cancer, which is the head and neck cancers in India. Head and neck cancer is a group of cancers which generally affect a lot of body parts like the nose, the ears, the oral cavity which involves the tongue, the cheek, the gums, the back of the tongue, the voice box, the throat area, all these comprise the head and neck cancers. Head and neck cancers are very very common in India. In Amongst males, head and neck cancers is the number one cancer in India. And if we combine males and females combined, head and neck cancer ranks second only to breast cancer in the number of cancers in India. Unfortunately, India is the head and neck cancer capital of the world. That means the maximum number of uh, head and neck cancers are in India worldwide. If we talk about the symptoms of head and neck cancer, it depends on which area the cancer has originated from. If suppose the cancer has originated from the nose, then the patient generally complains of bleeding or stuffiness in the nose. If the cancer commonly arises from the oral cavity or the tongue, then the patient has either an ulcer which is not healing or some difficulty in speech or difficulty in swallowing. If the patient is having a cancer in the primarily in the throat area or in the voice box area, then he or she will complain of uh, some change in the voice or difficulty in swallowing. First, he gets difficulty in swallowing in the solids and then subsequently liquids also. So these are in short some of the common symptoms of head and neck cancers. Also, some patients may complain of a non-healing ulcer around the teeth which they may kind of perceive as a dental infection but it may be a cancer in the vicinity of the tooth. So head and neck cancers, I told you before also, it is one of the commonest cancers in India. Now what are the why is, why is head and neck cancer so common in India? The main reason is the rampant use of tobacco in the form of chewable tobacco like pan masala, gutka, zarda, khaini, which is very very common in northern India as also the use of increasing use of cigarette smoking, BD, uh, reverse smoking, hookah smoking is there. So that is also very very high in India. Combined with that, the people in India also have a high intake of alcohol. So smoking, tobacco and alcohol combined together leads to a very very high incidence of head and neck cancers in India. So these are the most common causes of head and neck cancers. In addition to that, the other risk factors can be some viral infections like HPV infections. These are certain cancers which can arise in the throat area, but they comprise in India only 5 to 10 percent of the cancers. Other reasons for head and neck cancers is uh, poor oral hygiene. Most of Indians, they do not have the habit to do regular dental checkup. So, any chronic dental infection, any sharp tooth or any ulcers related to the sharp tooth can lead to cancers also. Head and neck cancers generally uh, can present at an early stage or at a late stage. In India, I would say in, in our hospitals, head and neck cancers present about 30, 20 to 30% in the early stages and about 60 to 70% in the late stages. So the outcome of the treatment of any head and neck cancer will depend on which stage the patient comes to us. So if the patient comes in the early stage, then the patient can be very well treated. If the cancer is arising from the oral cavity, he can be very well treated with a very good surgery with excellent cosmetic outcomes. A good plastic surgery can really make over the patient and the, uh, we may not even come to know that the patient is having cancer. Subsequently, larynx cancer or the voice box cancer or the throat cancers, we have a very good modality called as radiation therapy which is effectively delivered and can kill the cancer cells completely. We also have the role of chemotherapy also which can be uh, which can supplement the role of surgery and radiation therapy. But if the cancer comes at a late stage then these patients are 
partially cured and are not been able to completely cure. So here we definitely need the combination of treatment in the form of chemotherapy, radiation therapy, surgery, immunotherapy, targeted therapy. So all these therapies have to be combined together when the patient presents to us at a late stage.